Hello, my team friend. Welcome to Shui Chan's um, tutorial. So today we are going to talk about um, the second uh, most important uh, fingering on the right hand, which is called the Tiao. So uh, today we are still going to just use our right hand. Uh, so we still need to put our left hand uh, remember which position we are supposed to put uh, the position between eight, uh, nine and the ten, right? So when we are not pressing any string, we put our left hand here, right? Kiao, <coughs> and we are using the score in Yu Shui Shan Gu Qin Dian Xi Qu Ji still uh, attitude number one Qu uh, Yi. But the second half using Tiao. So let me play that part first, right? Tiao is the right index finger plucking outward, right? Remember, <coughs> excuse me, what is inward, what is outward, called yi ru xuan and chu xuan, right? Middle finger plucking inward, uh, zhong zhi ru xuan, is called go. Now, Tiao is the index finger going outward, uh, which is from bent to straight. Right? So that's called the tiao, uh, shi zhi, chu juan, yue tiao. Index finger <coughs> plugging outward is called the tiao. All right, so tiao as a fingering, um, we need the help of another finger, which is the thumb finger. Right, so go, we just use go, uh, but tiao, we put, so here you can see it more clearly. So we um, put the thumb finger next to it um, and making what I call the phoenix eye, right? feng yan, create a bird eye like um, shape, a hole there. Phoenix uh, eye, feng yan, right? So the thumb is on the uh, on the left side of the index finger. You are not supposed to put it under it, because if you put your thumb under it, you will, um, you know, block the movement of the index finger. So put it on the side. So it's like putting a curb so that your index finger can only move in one direction. So it is only meant to, uh, to move uh, forward or back, right? Straight or curved. It is not supposed to be kind of wiggling left and right, right? So the thumb put there will help lock it into the uh, most efficient position, right? So it's on the side. That's very important first principle. Secondly, um, the thumb, you basically, the first, first section of your thumb, the flesh side against the joint, right? Against the joint. So it is the joint um, between the first section and the second section of your index finger. So that is where your thumb is supposed to be, right? Like that. Relaxed. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, when your index finger pluck, the thumb is supposed to uh, bend and straight following it. So when your index finger curve, your thumb also curve 
and um, when your index finger straight straight out to to strike the string, your uh, thumb also goes straight. It looks almost as if your thumb is pushing it, although it is it is following it. But it looks like almost like your thumb is kind of pushing your uh, index finger straight. Right. So that's something I need to explain first. <clears throat> and second, just like in the Go uh, technique, um, a very important concept is a retaining finger. That is, be very conscious where your hand is located, uh, where your hand touch or land on the string. Be very conscious when doing tiao as well. So in the previous lesson, all the go, uh, we use the same finger retaining, right? So we did go on the, we pluck, we go yi, go one. So we put our hand on one. Uh, go two, we put our hand on two. So that's called the same finger retaining, right? <coughs> so um, I sometimes during my one-on-one uh, -on -one face to face teaching, I simplify it as same finger R. All right, retaining simplified as R. Right. So retaining finger on the first string, I sometimes simplify it as R1 or R2, retaining finger on the second. Uh, so go one. In the previous lesson, we did we did R1, right? and um, um, and go two. We did R2 in the previous lesson. Now, <clears throat> in Tiao, there are more kind of a uh, um, diversified, uh, more di diversified kind of retaining finger, right? Um, so. There are many different types, and we are going to practice three different retaining finger in this lesson on um, attitude number one. All right, the so most common retaining finger is what I call cross one string retaining finger, <coughs> which means when you are tell seven, you put your hand on five. So there is one string in between right, which is a six. So I call that cross one retaining, right? So R5, Tiao, seven. So that's cross one. So <clears throat> um, a second kind that we are not going to practice today is called cross two. Say, you know, I put my hand uh, or the rest of of the fingers on uh, string number four, and I tell seven. So we have two strings in between five and six. So I call that cross two retaining finger. So R four tell seven that's cross two. <coughs> Excuse me. And then. A third kind is called neighboring string um, retaining finger. Say, I again, I tell seven. If I put my hand on sixth string, that's neighboring string. So R6, tell seven, that's neighboring finger, uh, neighboring string, neighboring string retaining finger. So I simplify it as neighbor R, right, neighbor R. So cross one, cross two, neighbor, and we also have same string retaining finger for tiao. Say I'm going to tiao seventh string, and uh, so I put my hand on seventh string, and when I was about, when I'm about to touch the string, I release the other fingers, so that's called same string retaining finger for tiao. All right, so three types using the tiao seven um, as an example. 
This is most common. Cross one. Cross two. Neighboring. Same string. So <clears throat> four pipes. You never go as far as cross three, right? We never, uh, we never do cross, we never do cross three, because cross three, your hand does not look uh, very nice. So when when we have to put our hand on three and strike number seven, usually we use thumb, we use tor and key instead of using index finger. So. Cross one, cross two, neighbor, same. So four type of retaining fingers for uh, for tail, right? <clears throat> so um, now also kind of like the technique of go. So we divide the process of go into a couple steps. First, relax. Right. All the other principles apply to tail as well, like how your arm was meant to go forward and backward following different strings and relax shoulder and sit upright. So all those apply and relax, right? So uh, cross one, tail seven, and first touch the string using your index finger exactly the place where you was about you you were supposed to to touch the string when tell that string right so that location is um, about five millimeter to uh, seven millimeter uh, from the tip of your fingernail so it's, it's somewhere there so use that place let's say five millimeter touching string number seven and now your index finger should be half curved, right? If you are relaxed and the using the correct relationship between your hand and the, the string. <clears throat> now, so a, a um, um, outward plucking uh, fingering. So you first need to curve and then straight out. So touching that spot, relax. Now, bend index finger and the thumb should follow it. And then straight out. Again, when you are doing tail, the only part of your body moving should be just your right hand finger, fingers. Uh, in this case, it's index finger and the thumb, right? So after you, you finish the tail, your index finger should be solidly <clears throat> touching the neighboring uh, outer string right, away from your body. So, all right. So neighboring outer string for string number seven is six. So after tail, it, should, it shouldn't you know, fly away. It should be solidly very powerfully uh, against, you know, just touching the neighboring outer string, in this case, string number six. And if you are doing it correctly, the part you stop there should be exactly the place where your next uh, tail six should be. That should be the, the, the place where you start for the next cycle. Right, so so that's R five, tail seven. Rest, relax, bend, straight. Now put your retaining finger on four, and then touch set, touch six. Relax, bend, straight. R3, tail 5, relax, touch, bend, straight. R2, 
two, Tiao four. <coughs> Excuse me. Touch, relax, bend, straight. R one. Tiao three. Touch, relax, bend, straight. Now, um, there's no more string to go down. So, Tiao two, Tiao string number two is a what kind of retaining finger? So far, for um, string number seven, six, five, four, three, we are doing cross one. So, Tiao two, we have to do neighboring, right? So this neighboring string retaining finger for Tiao uh, string number two, because our hand is resting on string number one. So this is neighboring. Uh, let's simplify it as uh, neighbor R, right? Um, R neighbor, right? R neighbor. <clears throat> um, right. right, so this one, after you finish Tiao, your index finger should be touching string number one, and your um, middle, middle finger is also holding that. So now, after finishing Tiao 2, R1, T, R1, Tiao 2. So it looks almost as if you're, you are kind of a pincing or kind of picking um, string number one using your middle finger and uh, your index finger. So you strike <coughs> in the direction toward the middle finger so that after you finish, your two finger is kind of squeezing, holding string number one. All right now, tail number tail string number one. Now this is we we have only the op, only option for retaining finger. It's the same string retaining, right? So so the same string, right? We start with this position, like pincing or picking number one, and the the rest of them is pretty much the same. Right? So index finger curve straight out. The only difference is when you uh, tell about to touch the string, you need to release the other fingers. Just like when you when we do um, the uh, same string retaining finger for go, right? We did this all the time. Okay, so we need to release the retaining fingers when we strike the same string right so that's <clears throat> the step for tail <clears throat> and uh, we studied three different types of retaining finger and um three types cross one neighbor same string uh retaining finger so very important um now let me talk a little bit about the dynamics dynamics um this is universal this is for all fingering so but i'm using tiao as an example so we use different type of movement to create uh dynamics right so for example for the go you know i'm using i i, I will use go as an example here because you can see it more clearly the camera is kind of um, um, exposing my uh, front part of the hand. So if we want really powerful go, we totally straight out our middle finger, and our middle finger has the largest distance from the the string to strike. And when we get there, we have the high speed, and we get more powerful sound. Right. So if we want a soft sound, we do not raise the finger at all. 
So say this is also a goal. So in this case, in this case, I'm not raising my middle finger at all. And so there's no distance between the finger and the string. And uh, the speed is very low when I strike the string. And uh, it is soft. It is not powerful at all. So we create soft sound. So here, this difference. So, and then there are numerous degrees in between. So if I want a medium um, sound, so I half raise my middle finger and the distance is not too long, not too short. And when the finger gets to the string, the speed is also medium and the power is medium, everything is medium, right? So let me demonstrate <clears throat> kind of using the go technique from string number one going up to string number seven and i'm going to go uh, from you know the opposite from the soft to the powerful so notice um it is, you know, I, uh, in my method, I tend to use fingering, use the movement, the distance, the speed. So your, um, your body is visualizing the sound you are creating, right? More powerful, more faster speed and a longer move, movement distance create more you know, louder sound and a tiny small movement, um, small no or no distance at all of that kind of movement uh, would create soft sound. So that's how I do dynamic. And uh, tiao is the same thing, but you probably won't see it as well as the go, but it's the same principle. See, now I'm going to basically, you know, if I'm doing really powerful, um, loud tiao sound, I will bend it totally and straight out strike it really hard. And if I'm going to create really soft sound, I will not curve the finger at all. Just touch the string and then move straight it out and that sound should be soft, right? So I'm going to demonstrate that. Now this time I'm going to do it um from from more kind of a from you know ff to pp all right from more loud sound to the soft sound doing kiao <clears throat> So you notice the last one, I didn't curve my index. So this one is the outermost string. So hopefully you can see it clearly. So I didn't curve it at all. I just touch it and from there, so that sound is soft. If I'm going to create a louder sound, I would curve it and the speed is faster when it touch the string. See the contrast, right? So uh, that is what I believe how dynamics should be created on the instrument of Guqin. You should, shouldn't just use, um, try to squeeze it too hard um, and use the movement and use the distance speed to create uh, different Kind of dynamics. All right, um, I think that's enough for today. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for your comments. Um, you know, my <clears throat> my computer is kind of small, so I I can't really see 
but I see the heart. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you don't have any question, I will see you next time. And uh, um, so please, you know, thumb up, please, um, you know, like, and uh, feel free to make uh, further comments and feel free to, uh, <clears throat> to forward to your friend um, and, and follow my my channel. All right. Thank you. See you next time.